everyone, it's Darla from Crafty Yarn Owl. Welcome. So I just wanted to talk about this stitch just for a few, a minute maybe. <laughs> if you've done this stitch before, I hope you found it very easy to do. I sure did. I was amazed how easy it is. It is, let me see, let me show this close. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? You got these little window type things. You can see the yarn through the other color and your um, neutral color is making a window around it. It's so nice. Okay, so that is the outside. Now let me show you the inside. This is how it looks on the inside. It makes a pattern there too. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, so it's basically a four row repeat, but two of those rows are single crochets. <laughs> And you don't have to cut your yarn. Okay, you can use um, a white or a black even as your, I guess, uh, con contrast color, maybe your base color. I'm not sure what you would call it, but yeah. Use different colors. Try it out. I think it's just, uh, it's so, you know, it, there are so many possibilities of colors that you can use. All right, let's get into the yarn I used for this one. Okay, so I have two bags to show you today. They're the same uh, same design. Uh, one has the cross body strap and the other one, which I'll show you in the video how I made that. And then the other one has um, over the shoulder straps and I show how to make those in the video. But let's just, Look at this one first because you may be interested in using a three weight yarn like I did here. The other one is a four weight. But here it is. First of all, the construction of both bags is you will make a rectangle that's twice this size. I'll tell you the measurements in a minute. And then you'll, you will fold it over and then you'll seam it up on one side and then we'll crochet across the bottom as well. And then we make the top part working in the round. Okay, so the yarn I used here is, it's three weights. This, it's that baby, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, it is from Hirschner's. You get like five in a pack for $8 or something like that. Um, it's 100% acrylic and it's a three weight. This colorway is um, five zero 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 one and it's just white um, let's see it has it doesn't say the yardage but 276 meters I use this to make this bag and another one which I'll be showing in a future video um, I had some left over from another skein and then I used uh, whatever's come out of here I, I mean you know one skein will make two bags for sure, maybe even a third one if you make smaller sizes like these. I do give you the multiples in the video so you can make your bag as big or as small as you want. All right, so that's the white in here. And then I thought, what would this look like in this bag? And this is how it worked up. And I think it's beautiful. This is Premier Garden Batik. It's 100% micro acrylic. This is also a three... A light three snapdragon is the color and there are 284 yards in this hundred gram ball and that's all I used for this bag here that's all I used was like maybe I don't know half not even half <laughs> and I used a five millimeter hook for this one all right, so we'll go on to, oh, first of all, I'll give you a measurement of this one. I chained, my starting chain was 100, 100. Your uh, starting chain needs to be an even number, okay? So I'll give you the measurements of this right away. Okay, this bag is nine inches across, which is 22 centimeters. And from the very bottom to right at the top here is 8.5 inches or 21.5 centimeters. 
Now this one is the same design, but using a four weight yarn. Now I had asked in a community post, um, I had asked, uh, let me put the pictures up here, um, for you to choose the color ways for my next project. Well, you guys chose this gorgeous blue. Most of you picked it. And uh, of course the white, I had them together like this. And then also the gold or white. Now the gold and white would look amazing in this design as well. And I'm thinking about making a purse like that. <laughs> so this is a beautiful uh, colorway you chose or the main most votes was for this one. Uh, let's see, it's a four weight yarn. It's sweet roll. Uh, colorway is frosty swirl and there's different blues in it. 245 yards in here. It's a four weight and I hardly used any of it. <laughs> this was a full cake. I hardly used any of it. <laughs> yeah, so I used that and then I used the um, Craft Smart Value yarn. It's this is a medium four as well. Uh, color is white. So this was a full ball of 354 yards and you know, I hardly used any really for the white. <laughs> so I could probably get another two bags out of this maybe. Uh, okay, so for this one, I used a six millimeter hook and uh, this one is an over the shoulder straps. So I'll show you how to make those in this video and then how to make a buttonhole and put a button on it if you want that, if you want a, a button. This is a, just a fun owl button that our beautiful yarny sister Sabrina Melodyuse gave me a whole bag of there's a few different styles, but thank you, Sabrina. All right, so this is the back. And I actually, I did not change, like I didn't, I just worked the cake. I didn't cut the yarn and do any color control and I just worked the cake. So it used a little bit of this light blue and then up into this a little bit darker. Then it went into an even darker blue here. Yeah, so the size of this purse, this one, I did, I chained 60 and it measures, Okay, eight and a half inches wide, which is in centimeters, that is about 22 centimeters, right? Mm, not quite. Maybe pretty close to 22 centimeters. And then uh, from the very top to the bottom, nine and a half inches. In centimeters, that's mm, close to 24 centimeters. Yeah, but you make yours the size that you want to make it. Uh, you just make a chain that's in even numbers. Use a six millimeter. I used a darning needle to sew in the ends. Uh, you might need some stitch markers and you'll need some scissors to cut your yarn off. All right, let's go. <laughs> Okay, we're going to make a chain that's in an even number. I will come back and tell you how many chains I made. Okay, so a chain in an even number. Okay, I have my chain. I have made a chain of 60. So you just need an even number. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is skip the first stitch. We're going to go in the next one with a single crochet. We're going to make single crochets all the way across this row. Okay, I'll meet you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of the single crochet row. I had chained 60 and because we start our single crochet in the second chain from the hook, that would leave us with 59 single crochets. Okay, so now I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn my work around. We're going to make three more rows of single crochets for a total of four. 
Okay, so this is, will be the second row. Just a good for a single crochet in that very first stitch. Single crochet in each stitch to the end, and then make two more rows after this row. So you'll have a total of four rows of single crochets. And you will have 59 single crochets in each row. Okay, I'll come back when I'm done those four rows. All right, now I have my four rows of single crochets done. For that last single crochet, don't complete it because we're going to change color. Now all we're going to do is drop our neutral color and we're going to pick up the next color. We're going to finish off that single crochet by pulling it through like that. Then we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. We're not going to cut that other yarn off. Okay. All right, so yeah, pull this a little bit tight, that tighter, that first stitch there. All right, so we're gonna put a single crochet in the very first stitch with our new color. Oops, sorry. Okay, now in the second stitch, let me just straighten it out. Okay, in the second stitch, we're gonna go down uh, three rows. So one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. We're going to yarn over and we're gonna go through that third row down below here with a half double crochet. So you wanna make sure you pull up a loop, go in there, come back up, grab your yarn, Pull it through, pull your loops up, you'll have three on your hook, and then yarn over and go through all three. So that's what it looks like. Okay, then we're going to go in this next stitch with a single crochet. In the next stitch, if you follow um, your holes, that's the first row, second row, third row, that's where we're going into right here with a half double crochet. This is what we're going to be doing for this row. Okay, go in your next stitch with a single crochet. Follow your next stitch down. One, two, three. Go in there with a half double. Go in your next stitch with a single crochet and just alternate all the way along this row. Okay, your next stitch is here. One, two, three. Go in that third one down with a half double crochet. Single crochet in the next stitch. One, two, three. Three rows down with a half double crochet. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. It's pretty cool so far, right? Okay, I'll see you at the end of this row. Okay, we're almost at the end of the row. I believe this is called the spike stitch. If I'm not correct, please write in the comments what it's called. Okay, so I've done uh, the spike <laughs> and then the single crochet. I have two stitches left. So I'm gonna make another one of those, what I call spikes or extended half double crochet maybe. Okay, go down to your third row here. Make your half double hits. Um, Good idea to not let it slip over the end because it's a little hard to pull back up into place. <laughs> okay. So there we go. 
and then we have our very last stitch we're going to make a single crochet in there we started for with a single crochet in this row and we're going to end with one single crochet all right so this is the first row of a four row repeat okay um you're not going to be repeating this row in the four row repeat though but I, i'll show you okay so now we're going to chain one and turn our work now this next row is pretty simple it's just single crochets all the way across the row okay single crochet in the first stitch the next one all the way in every stitch a single crochet i'm just slipping this little um clip in here to show you not to get mixed up when you're going to be putting your single crochet row it may look like you need to go under here under those two loops to put your stitch in but your stitch is actually up here where you want to go into so you don't work in that bar down there you go into these two loops that are up on the top with your single crochet okay the next one is easy to see where you go into and then the next one tip it and go under the two bars on the top to put your single crochet in there All right, I'll see you at the end of this row. I'm at the end of that single crochet row, which is the second row of our four row repeat. I have one more stitch. I'm going to start a single crochet, but not finish it, okay? Just pull your yarn through, and then you're gonna drop that color. Just drop it. And then you're gonna go to your other color Pull this a little bit tighter. Go your other color and finish off that single crochet. Okay, now we're going to chain one. Turn our work. <clears throat> so now this row, we are going to put a single crochet in the first stitch and a single crochet in the second stitch. So I'm going to pull that a little tighter. Okay, single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in the second stitch. You'll also be ending this row the same way with two single crochets. Okay, so now we are going to do a half double crochet, but we're going to do something a little different than we did in this row. Okay, we're going to yarn over. We're going to go down into our spike stitch. See, it has two legs, there's one on the right and one on the left. We're going to go under that one on our left. So yarn over, pick up that leg on the left, go to the next one, and pick up the leg on the right. Okay, and then grab your yarn, pull through those legs, Pull up high, yarn over, and finish making your half double crochet. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> okay, then we go into the next stitch right here with a single crochet. Okay, so that's how we're going to be making this row. Yarn over. Now the second leg of this spike you're going to go under that one it's the one on your left the leg on your left go under that in your next spike the leg on the right you will go under that with your hook and grab your yarn and you're going to pull through those two legs pull up high to get your loops up there at the top grab your yarn pull it right through to finish off 
your half double crochet. Okay, go into your next stitch with a single crochet. Just keep repeating this. I'll show you again. Yarn over. Your leg on the left, the one that's free. Go under that one. Your next spike, the right leg on the right. Go under that with your hook. Grab your yarn. Pull it through both of those legs. Pull it up so you have a little bit of height. Yarn over and just finish off your half double by going through those three loops. Next stitch, do a single crochet. And that's what it looks like. But we do it one more time. Yarn over and you have your spike on the and the left loop under it. This is the right loop, that's the left. Go under it with your hook. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go to your next spike under the right loop. Put your hook under there. Grab your yarn, pull it under both of those loops, those legs. Pull your uh, loops up. Yarn over and pull through all three. So you have just completed a half double crochet. Okay, now you're going to your next stitch with a single. Okay, just repeat, keep repeating that. And I'll see you near the end of this row. Now look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to show you the back right now. <laughs> it's also got a design on it. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right. All right. So now I'm near the end of this row. <clears throat> this is the third row of the four repeat. Yes. Okay. Um, the next stitch I've I've done the half double crochet around these legs. Next stitch is the single crochet. And the next stitch we'll put our well yarn over, put a hook under that left leg. Put our hook under the right leg of this one. Grab our yarn, pull underneath those legs, or through the legs. Pull up, yarn over, pull through to finish our half double. Okay, so we're at the end, end, end of the row, so now we're going to put a single crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in the next stitch, like we did at the very beginning of that row. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to chain one, and we're going to turn. Now this row, next row, is just single crochets all the way across. Okay, it might look like your edge is getting a little wonky, but it's, it's not. It just looks that way. <laughs> okay. Single crochet all the way across. Okay, this is the fourth row of the four row repeat. Mm, I got a frog today. Yeah, that's gonna, that'll straighten out as we go. All right, so continue doing that, making your single crochets in every stitch all the way to the end. Um, don't finish your single crochet at the end because we're going to be going back to the other color. Now we're at the end of our four row repeat. We have one single crochet left there so just make partial single crochet. <clears throat> Drop that yarn and we're going to pick up our next color again. And then we're going to finish that single crochet like that. Okay, chain one. Okay, so this row is um, the row that you start with one single crochet. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is 
for the next stitch. We're going to be going, let's see, that's the next stitch. Um, okay, that's the first row, second row, and then the third row, right where your stitch is going into. Okay, I hope you can see that. <clears throat> so it's three rows down is what we're doing. There there and then there so we want to go right in that hole right in the middle of that stitch i mean it's pretty easy to find because it's got your your color all around it okay so we're going to yarn over <clears throat> excuse me boy and we're going to put our half double crochets through that that hole okay so i've yarned over i'm going to go through that hole there, pull my yarns through, and then pull up all three loops, yarn over, and pull through all three. Okay, next stitch is a single crochet. And then yarn over, our next stitch is here, go down, and then right into the center right here. Put your half double crochet through there. Single crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over, and then you're gonna go right through here for your next stitch. Your half double crochet. Single crochet into the next. Yarn over, do your half double crochet in that next one. Single crochet, half double crochet into that next one right there. And so on for this row. I'll see you at the end of this row. Now I'm at the end of the row. This is our first row of the four row repeat. So I've done a single crochet. So I'm going to do a spike, <laughs> half double crochet into this stitch right here, like we were doing all along. go pull you over a bit and then we have one more stitch so we're going to put just single crochet in that last stitch okay now we'll go on the next row chain one next row is our single crochets doesn't it look neat on both sides well okay so first stitch single crochet and a single crochet all the way along. All right, so I'm at the end of that second row of the um, four row repeat. And we have one stitch left, so we're just gonna put a single crochet, but did not finish it. Drop our yarn, go back. To our other color and pull it through to finish off that single crochet. All right, so now we chain one and turn. And then we put, with this row, we put two single crochets. Okay, so one in the first stitch. Just want to pull that a little bit tighter or that yarn so single crochet in that first stitch 
and then a single crochet in the second stitch. Okay, this is the third row of the four repeat. I'm just kind of going over things with you again. Okay, so now we're going to do our uh, our half double crochet around the leg on the left and the leg on the right of the next spike. So wrap your yarn, go behind that leg on your left and then the leg on the right of the other spike. Grab your yarn, pull it through behind those legs, pull up a loop or pull up those loops, yarn over, and then pull through all three. And you've just finished your um, half double crochet. Go into the next stitch with a single crochet. Okay, yarn over, go behind that left leg, go behind the right leg on the next spike, grab your yarn, Pull it behind those legs, pull up your loops, yarn over, pull through all three. Go in your next stitch with a single crochet. Okay, again, yarn over, go behind that second leg of the spike stitch, the one that's free because the other one has been taken. <laughs> Okay, go behind it, go behind the right leg of the next spike stitch, grab your yarn, pull it behind those legs, pull up your loops, yarn over, pull through all three, and then single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, continue to the end of the row and I'll meet you there. Okay, we're getting to the end of that third row of the four row repeat. <laughs> okay, I've done a single crochet and then I want to grab these legs here. So, yarn over, go into that left leg and then the right leg. Grab your yarn, pull under those legs, pull up your loops, yarn over, go through those um, loops and then you have two left two stitches left put a single crochet in each of those okay chain one and then your next row you turn your work your next row is the single crochets look at it's so nice on the back as well as the front okay so you do your single crochets along here now just make sure you're, um, okay, do single crochets all the way along, but make sure you're not going under this bar here, like that, but under the two bars at the top, you gotta kind of maybe twist it a little. I put a clip in earlier about that. Okay, just put single crochets all the way along and then this is the fourth row of your four row repeat and you just start your repeat over again and when I come back um, I'm going to let you know how many rows I made in total Okay, now we have this piece. This is the bottom and we worked up this way. So I counted the number of rows including the four we started with and I'll show you how to count the rows. Okay, this is the back. Look at that. It's beautiful on the back too. Okay, so the way I counted the rows was we know we made four here. Okay, and every color like the blue was two rows. We did two rows of the white, two rows of blue, two of the white, and so on. So four plus two is six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 
22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, and 36. So I have 36 rows here. 36 rows. So now what we're going to do, I still have the yarn attached, by the way. Oh, both, both of the yarns are still attached. So we're going to take our piece and we're going to fold it over. Now I'm going to give you the measurements of the height of it so far and the width of it. Now the height, we're going to be adding more rows and then we'll be doing handles. But first we fold our piece in half and um, okay, so I'll tell you the height. The height so far is 7.5 inches from the bottom up here, but like I said, we're adding more rows. So 7.5 inches or 19 centimeters right now. Okay, the width of our bag, and this is gonna be the finished width as well, is nine inches across or 22 centimeters across. So my yarn is still attached. I finished on the white row. So we're gonna make more rows, so I'm gonna leave my white attached. I also wanna leave the blue attached as well and use it to sew up the side. Now I've cut my yarn so that I have three times the height of the bag plus a little bit more. So that'll, that'll give me enough to sew the side together. So we're gonna do that now. Now you could cut your blue short and then sew it in or weave the end in and use your white to go down the side. And then you can just add your white back on here when we do the rest of the rows on the top. If you're concerned about your color showing through here on the side when you sew, um, I'm not really that concerned about it. <laughs> so I am gonna use this blue. We will also be closing up the bottom, but we're gonna crochet the bottom closed. You could sew it if you like, but I'm gonna crochet it from the right side of the purse. Just making sure the top is even there. Go under a couple of loops on each side. I'm actually going above, like higher up than my where my yarn came out of. And I'm pulling it fairly tight so that that blue hopefully doesn't really show through. If it does, it does. <laughs> okay, sewing all the way down to the bottom. Now, I'm not quite at the bottom, but just make sure you line up your bottom every now and then to make sure. See, this one seems a little bit more stretched out than that side. So we just want to make sure we try to even them up as we go along. And, you know, if you're a beginner, you may not think of that. Sometimes we don't think of things like this when we're a beginner. So I just thought I'd mention that. You could pin it there if you like. You can pull this out a bit if it's not measuring up. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> 
I've sewn my bag right down to the very bottom and uh, just going to put a knot knot in there and then I'm going to go up the side and just sew the end in here. And then we're going to flip it over and look at it together and see if that seam is showing. We'll discover it together. <laughs> I like to sew my ends in like that, go up and then back down and then back up. Skipping, you know, not going under here again because it could undo the work. So I skip over that. And it should not come out. Ah. Let's see the moment of truth. All right. See it a little bit here. But I'm not worried about it. Okay, looks good, looks sturdy. Okay. It's such a, it really is a stiff piece of fabric. You know, you're gonna have to maybe, I don't know, just kind of stretch it out in places you need to. Now I've turned it back inside out because we have this single crochet row that we are working on um, the back. So I'm just going to slip stitch and then I'm going to chain one and turn so that we're working on the outside, the right side. So now we're going to make a few single crochet rows, but we're going to be doing some decreases as we're working along. Okay, so this is the top of our bag. This is the bottom, which we will be closing off um, eventually. <laughs> okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a single crochet in the very first stitch. And in the next seven, I believe. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Now I'm going to put nine and ten together, so I'm going to do a decrease. So I'm going to go in the ninth stitch, pull my yarn through, go in the tenth stitch, pull my yarn through, and then I have three on my hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So that reduces two stitches down to one. Okay, I'm going to do that every ninth and tenth single crochet. Okay, so start counting again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, nine and ten we'll put together. Okay, I'm going to start counting again. One, two, all the way up to eight, and then you'll put your ninth and tenths uh, together as a decrease. 
So if your count is not exactly right, like mine isn't, um, just leave two stitches there and just put them together. Okay, and then that's the end of our row, and then we'll slip stitch into the first stitch. Then we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna do that again. Okay, so make a single crochet in the first stitch. In the first eight stitches, we'll make a single crochet. And then the ninth and tenth, we'll put together, do a decrease. Okay, my row ended up where my ninth and tenth stitch were somewhere around here, so I just put them together, and then I just had a few stitches left, so I put one in each, a single crochet in each of whatever was left. It's okay if the stitch count is off, it's not a big deal. Okay, so now, because I'm pretty sure mine was off, so it's, it's okay. Um, so now what we're going to do is for the next row, we're going to chain one, go back in the same stitch with a single crochet. And then we're going to put a single crochet in the next one, so that's two. And in the next one, that's three. And then we're going to put four and five together. Okay, so decrease cross four and five, and then start over, one, two, three, so a single crochet in those three, and then four and five we'll put together into one, so that's a decrease. So one, two, three, and then a decrease over four and five. All right, keep doing that for, for this row. Okay, now I've decreased over stitch four and five, and then I have one, two, three left, so I'm just gonna put a single crochet in each one. You might have a different number, like I said before. If you're off a bit, or I'm off a bit, that's okay. We don't need a certain amount of stitches at this point. So, I'm just going to slip stitch into that first single crochet. Okay, let me just straighten this out a bit. So that's what's happening. It's just moving the top of our bag like inward a little bit. Okay, now for the next row, we're going to put a buttonhole if you want one. All right, so I'll pull up my yarn here. I just want to fold my my bag. Let's see here. Um, okay, I have the seam seam on the right side. I'm looking at my bag like this. Um, let's see, let's see. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna fold it more onto that seam. So it's right on that side. So when I wear my bag, I want this, okay, this might sound a little weird. <laughs> I want my bag against my body so that the seam is facing the back of me under my arm so I want my button on this side <laughs> I hope you can see that but you do it the way you want so facing you or facing me my seam would be on the left so I want my button here just so the button part is facing out. I just like it to have that, have it that way. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you a little bit. Sorry, dear guys. Got to get around the camera here. Okay. 
So I'm going to count. Can you have it positioned right? Seam is pretty much on that side. Okay. So I'm going to count. In the corner here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, right there is going to leave me two stitches in the middle. So that's all I was doing was finding the middle. So if you have three stitches, don't worry. And if you, you know, my hole is going to be roughly that that big. You need a, a button to fit in that hole we're about to make. Um, if you don't have a button that big and say you have, you're going to be skipping three, three would put you in your middle, three stitches rather than two. Then when you come to do the next row, normally you would make three single crochets around that chain we're going to be making here, but you can make two single crochets instead and it'll make your hole a little smaller. All right, so now I'm going to crochet all the way around with single crochets until I get to my stitch markers. Okay, so single crochet in every chain, and I'll meet you at the stitch markers. Okay, I have a single crochet in every stitch around, and now we're at our uh, stitch marker here, so I'm going to remove it, and I'm going to put a single crochet right in that stitch where that stitch marker was. And I've skipped two stitches, so I'm going to, you could chain one. Let's see, if you would chain one, if you think your hole's too big, and then do a single crochet in your next stitch where your stitch marker was. And that's going to help pull, pull your hole smaller. And I think I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, so then we're going to single crochet in every stitch till we get to the end of our, our row. Okay, and then slip stitch, and then I'm going to make one more row um, of single crochets. Okay, where's our hole? Right there. I'm going to make one more row of single crochets. And uh, then I'll show you the next step. Actually, I'll meet you at the buttonhole. <laughs> okay. I'm coming up to my buttonhole, one stitch here, oops, okay, I have one stitch here, and then there's my buttonhole right there, put one stitch there, and stitch there, stitch there, and then just go the end of your row and slip stitch to end your row. Let's look at that buttonhole. <laughs> yeah, I think it's good. I think it's good. Yeah. So I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay. 
Let's slip stitch into the end of chain one. <clears throat> okay, now I'm not going to put another row around here because we're going to add a row there when we do our straps. All right, be right back. Now I'm going to make handles. So what I've done is, there's my buttonhole. So I counted over as far as I want my handles to go. So that's seven stitches. I marked that seventh one. And then from this stitch here, I counted over seven and marked that one. And then I just flipped it over and I have the same number of stitches between the stitch markers here for the back. So we'll have a handle here and then a handle on the front. And I'm going to make it so that it's over the shoulder. But um, I am going to show you how to make a crossbody strap on um, the next bag, which will be in this same video. So you have a couple of choices. Okay. So now... I'm going to just make start making single crochets so I'll chain one and then I'll put a single crochet back in that stitch and then a single crochet all the way up to my next stitch marker and also in the stitch where my stitch marker is I will make single crochets Okay, I can remove that stitch marker now. And then now I'm going to make a chain that um, will fit over my shoulder. Now I will make a few chains. I'll come back and uh, uh, tell you how many chains I made because I am going to try to, you know, fit it over my shoulder, make sure it's going to be good. Be right back. Okay, so I've made a chain of 40. And then I'm going to single crochet into where my next stitch marker is. Okay, then I'm going to single crochet over to my next stitch marker and uh, do the same thing I just did. Okay, so. And I'll be single crocheting right into where that stitch marker is. Okay, it's the next stitch, so I'll remove it. Go in there with a single crochet, and then I'll make my chain of 40. Make the other side. I'll see you after I've made that chain. Okay, I've made the chain of 40, and then I'm going to go into where this next stitch marker is with a um, single crochet. Remove that stitch marker because we don't need it now. Okay. So now I'm just going to single crochet over to where I started the row, and which was... Oh, well, okay. I don't need to single crochet. <laughs> Just do the slip stitch into the first single crochet. All right. So now I'm going to single crochet, uh, chain one, do a single crochet in that first stitch. And a single crochet over to my uh, chain. And I made 40 chains, so I'll be putting 40 single crochets in that chain. So, let's see. OK. 
Okay, so make make the number of single crochets you need to fit into whatever chain count your um, handle was. And then just go all the way around, single crochet, do your next handle, go all the way around, and then slip stitch into your first single crochet made, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now at the end of this row, after doing our handle, I'm just going to slip stitch in that first single crochet. Chain one. Pull my yarn up and cut it, and now I'm going to go up to um, do the insides of the handles. So, oh, I should pull this back a little bit further here, sorry. Sorry. Okay. So these are the handles. Now they do are going to stretch. So, you know, take that into account as well. Okay. So now I'm going to go on the inside of the handle for one round on both of them, of course. So, you can probably start anywhere. Uh, okay, this is the side where my buttonhole is, so, so we'll have that extra row of single crochets above that buttonhole, because we're going to do them right now. <laughs> okay, so we can start anywhere. Oops, hook that yarn on my... Hook. And then we'll chain one and put a single crochet oh, back in that stitch. I'm kind of trying to pull it a little tighter. Okay, I'm going to try to go over my tail so I don't have to sew it in later. So single crochet till we get to the handle. Okay, I'll meet you where, where the handle starts. Okay, I'm getting up to my handle here. Single, uh, single crochet in there. And I'm gonna, gonna just start going up my handle here. Putting single crochets. Oh, that's a big space. Hmm. Okay. See, I don't know what I did there, but, yeah, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So just go all the way around your handle and, and then um, slip stitch into your first single crochet. And after we're done all that, I will see you back here. All right, we have our handles finished. Now, before I sew the button on, I'm going to, well, we have to close the bottom of the bag, right? Ta-da, still open. <laughs> okay, for the bottom of the bag, I'm going to just go as close as I can to the edge, and I'm just going to single crochet right across on the outside of my bag. Okay. Okay, and I'm, I'm grabbing two loops from the front and two loops from the back.
and just making single crochets right across. And as I go along, I'm going to make sure it's um, flat, you know. I don't want to go into a stitch, a couple of stitches here, and then go off oh, to a couple of stitches here, and then it end up like that. So I'm just being careful, just watching where I'm putting them in the front and in the back. I'll see you at the end of this row. Okay, coming right down to the end here of the bag, of the bottom. Stick an extra one in there for good measure. <laughs> All right, chain one, cut it off, and then we sew in the ends later. Or you can do it now, whenever you prefer. And that's the bottom. If you want to line your bag, you could always do that as well. I won't be lining the Okay, now let's put our button on. Okay. I have a really thin needle here so that it'll fit through the holes with yarn on it. There we go. Okay, so I've kind of lined up, well, I thought I did, lined up the back and the front. Oh, yeah, something like that. And then my hole is here, so I'm going to just put my needle right through, down so it comes out the back. Make sure everything is even. Okay. So then I'm going to come right through the back again, fairly close to where I pulled out on the other side. And I'm going to make a knot so that it's on the inside of the bag and not on the outside. <laughs> okay. Tie it a couple of times. You do however it works for you. Okay, so this is the button. It's uh, Sabrina Mallow Juice gave me a bunch of these. She has a channel. I'll link her below. Hi, Sabrina. She gave me a whole big bag of different kinds of owls. So this goes with this shade of blue. I hope it it's showing on camera. So I thought that would be fun to use. So... And that's a what I'm doing. Oops. So let me just pull it through that hole. I already tried it and it fits. It's tight, which is good. All right. So And pull it back through there. You might be able to hear kids. Um, I have my window open and my neighbor's kids are in the backyard. So it was nice to hear kids playing, I think. You know, happy, not fighting. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'll go through like three times. Okay, where are you 
coming from. Get out of there. Okay. And then I'll go back this way and then oh, knot it off under the button so it can't be seen. I don't know if I even have to show you all this stuff, but I am. And then just sew that end. Oh, I hope I wasn't off camera. Sew that end in or weave it in, cut it off. And then I have that other end to weave in. And other than that, we are done. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> oh. So there's our bag. I just need to, to weave in the ends. And that's our bag. I can't wait to see yours. Please post them in my Facebook group. Um, send pictures via email. Um, how else should we do this? Um, yeah. And share this video, this tutorial. It really helps us out when you share to your social media. Like, comment, subscribe. It all helps us out so much. And, um... It really does. And I thank you. And I hope you love your bag. I can't wait to see yours. Okay, but before we go, I'm going to do that other handle. The um, cross body on another bag I've made. All right, be right back. Now let's make a cross body strap. My yarn is still connected here, but I'm going to move it over so that it's in the center of the side. I'm gonna put a single crochet right where the yarn is coming out. Make a single crochet over to the side. Let's see. And let's see, I think I'll make one more single crochet. Am I? Nope, I think I'm good. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a long chain. And I'm going to count my chains because we'll be putting single crochets in them and we want to make sure we put a single crochet in each chain. Okay, I'm just going to make a long chain. I'm going to come back and tell you how many chains I made because I'm going to fit it across my body since this is a going to be a crossbody handle. Okay, I'll be right back. Now I'm going to attach my chain to the other side. Okay, so I'm going to turn my bag this way. Going to attach it right near the middle of the side with a single crochet. And then I'm going to put single crochets all the way along my bag. Until we get to the chain where it's attached on the other side. Okay, single crochet all the way along. I'm up to my strap here and I'm going to put a single crochet in every chain of this strap. Come on. Okay, so I made a hundred chains, so I'm going to put a hundred single crochets into my chain.
and I'll meet you at the end of your chain at this point. I'm at the end of the single crochets on my strap. So what you need to do is make sure your strap is straight. All the way over because we're going to be attaching it. You don't want it all twisted up. <laughs> all right. So it's already attached to your bag, but we're going to be connecting our single crochet row to the bag. Okay, I'm just going to do a slip stitch. Okay, so I'm just going to double check. And yes, it's straight. Okay, so we're going to cut that off and then I'm going to work on the other side. See, I've only worked on one side of the chain. I'm going to work on this other side of the chain. So I'm cutting my yarn. So I'm going to start anywhere here. Um, this is the back of my purse. I'm going to hook the yarn on and then I'm just going to go up that other side of that chain. And then you could do another row on each side of the chain if you like. I'm not sure if I will. I'll see what it looks like and if I think it's strong enough. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, all right. Chain one, put a single crochet back in that stitch. Okay. Put single crochets up until I get to the strap. Okay. Now it's always a good idea when you're making your crossbody strap to check again to see if it is straight. And it is, so I know <clears throat> I know it's straight for sure. So now I'm just going to start crocheting up the side here. Um, yeah, just start single crocheting up that side. Okay, and then I'll meet you at the other end of the strap where it's connected. Okay, my single crochets are done on the other side of my chain. And I checked again to make sure that my strap is straight. And it is, so I'm going to attach. And just crochet across until um, I get up to where we started that single crochet row around the strap. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just going to slip stitch into that first single crochet.
Now my bags are done. I have one with over the shoulder strap. And then crossbody, just to show you guys how to make each strap. All right, thank you so much for joining me and please share my tutorials or my other videos, whatever videos you like to share. And uh, thank you so much. I hope you love your bag. See you again soon.